Hello again, everybody. I'm your host, Leo D. Cook, and welcome to Masterpieces of Children's Literature in Less Than a Minute. Boy, that was close. You might be wondering what I was doing here. You see, I was walking the plank, which is, has something to do with today's book, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. This is a story about pirates, and in those days, if you made a pretty big mistake, they made you walk the plank. What's that? What did I do wrong to make me walk the plank? Nothing. Thank you very much. <clears throat> this story takes place in the 18th century and opens up with a young Jim Hawkins, a guy who works for his folks at their inn, which is like a hotel. A guest, an old sea captain named Billy Bones, went erp. And so Jim and his mom opened the guy's sea chest and inside they discover a treasure map. A bunch of guys show up but Jim splits before they get him and his map. Jim goes to his buddies, Dr. Livesey and Squire Trelawney for help. They realize that this map is to the treasure of Captain Flynn's hidden gold. So they decide to hire a crew of sailors oh, let's go. who end up being a bunch of undercover shady pirates to help them go get this treasure. Chief among these guys is Long John Silver, a former buddy of Captain Flynn. Now, Long John Silver is really tough and smart. He wants to overthrow the ship and take the gold for himself, which is pretty not cool. Everybody gets on the ship and they end up on this island where the gold is buried. Our hero, Jim, runs away and finds a hermit named Ben Gunn huh? who was stranded there years ago. What's going on? Anyways, there's a bunch of back and forth between the good guys and the pirates. I skipped over a bunch of stuff, and if you want to know more about Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, I suggest you read it yourself. You'll be glad you did. I'm Leo D. Cook, and I'll see you next time on Masterpieces of Children's Literature in Less Than a Minute.